Sally, you need to know about my child. George Michael, he approves. No, there may be another child in the mix. I ran into an ex. We had a very messed up relationship. It was based totally on lies, but she's pregnant. She said something that led me to believe that it might be mine. But you said she was a liar. She, she, she is. She said it wasn't mine, so. Why are you telling me this? Well, because obviously if it is my child, I'm going to have to be responsible for it, and that's going to make things awfully complicated for us. Michael, you know what? You're always looking for things to get between us. First, it was, what's your son going to think? And now you think you're having a baby because a woman who lies told you you weren't. That's a great way to say that. We really do communicate well. Do you know that? Are you insane? You broke up with her because somebody who doesn't want you might be pregnant with your baby. Mm. Sally broke up with me, and, and as for Maggie, I, I didn't even know that she was pregnant when I first saw her. All I could see was her giant chest. Box. She had this, some people call it a chest, I call it a box. She was holding this giant box. Maybe I should have just stayed out of it. She would make it pretty clear that she doesn't want me around. Come on, Michael. She's probably not even pregnant. You said she was carrying a big box. Pregnant women tend not to do that. It did say 60 pounds on it. Okay, I, I, I've done this wrong. I should have found out whether it was a real pregnancy before I told my dream girl about it. You know what I do, Mike? Check their urine, make them pee in a cup, and pee in a cup right in front of me. Yeah, well, thanks, Joe, but uh, I think we should just keep on looking. I don't know how I can make that sound like me. So you get someone to break in her house, rig the toilet, collect the pee, test it, and expose the lie. I mean, I'd do it, but I'm going through a divorce here, guy. Oh, a pregnancy test. <laughs> There's something we never had, huh, Lindsay? <laughs> oh, no. We had to create our little Frankenstein monster out of science and money and just a dash of maybe. What, how, how long have you been standing there? I just walked in. Just walked in. <laughs> Seems like only yesterday you were bursting forth from your mother's fertile womb. <laughs> you know what? Tobias and I will break into our house and get the specimen. We've been looking for a little excitement. Yeah, it'll be fun. We will be like <sighs> Tracy and Hepburn. What do you say, you old poop? Oh, God, he's Hepburn. I am done with Buster. Pushes my buttons, that's all he does. He also zips you up and sands your elbows. Not anymore, no, no, no. He's pretending he's going to war. Mr. Big Shot, God knows what he's really doing. Wait a minute, he said he's going to war? Aren't you worried about that? Oh, you're sounding like your uncle, and I've had enough of his attitude, too. The boy is going to war, you're gonna have to face that. It's none of your business! He is my boy, I need macaroons. Oh, you're high. Oh, well, you can win every argument like that. That does not make you right. I don't want you telling him you're his father. I need ice. Can't you see you're in denial? You're high! You're drunk! Where did Buster say he was going? Iraq, which is a shot at your father. Thank God he's not here to hear this. Excuse me, one second. It's the pipes.